Okay, so this is a common scenario where you have a table of employees in my case and you have a form that allows you to edit an employee or show the data for an employee and what you want to do is navigate from the uh, table directly to the form when you click on an employee ID for example. So what you need to do is first of course define the navigation between the two pages so from the table you have a navigation to the form, you can have a navigation back if you want to. And then the tricky part is how do you actually set the specific role or the specific employee that you're going to work on. To do that, what you're going to do is under the data control, you expand the view object that you're using, the employee view object in my case, and look at the operation underneath it. There are two operations here that are called set current row with key and key value. I'm going to use the key value uh, in this sample. I'm just going to drag and drop it into one of the um, columns of the table and I'm going to drop it as an operation specifically an ADF link. Okay. So this creates a link that allows you to navigate to, um, uh, to another place. So let's associate an action with this link. We'll associate the get details action and what we want to do next is we don't actually want it to say set current row with key, we actually want it to say the value of the employee ID. So I'm going to copy this value from this field, go into this field and just set um, the text to be the row employee ID. Now the interesting thing is that the row employee ID is also the row key, so this is what I'm actually going to uh, pass to the next page. What you need to do now is go into the binding where you can find the operation of setting the specific code that you're going to work on. If you expand it over here, you'll see that there's a parameter that you're passing to it, and you can set a value for it. I'm going to set it to the row employee ID. So this is the expression language that I'm going to use here. So this is again done in the set count row with key and the row key. Let's go back to the design view. We can actually remove the first field because we don't need it anymore. Okay. And we click save and run the page. By the way, um, this concept of row key, etc., is explained in 10156 in this chapter in the actual ADF 1013 uh, guide. So it's chapter 10156. Uh, there's a section about row key and row key with value uh, that explains the, differ the difference between the two. You might want to check that one out. Okay, let's look at our application. Uh, the first page is going to display a list of employees. And what you can see is that the employee ID is now indicated as actually a link that you can click on. So you can click, for example, on um, 106 and navigate to employee 106 in your form. Click back to go back to the previous page. Okay. Again, you can see the list of employees. Choose another employee. For example, John, employee 110. Click on the link and get